wind is true on the reef? Ready for a night passage? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. It's gonna be easy, right? Yeah. Easy peasy. These are like fuel ships. night there is no wind and the water is just flat and glassy. Easiest watch ever. the Algarves, Portugal, and the views are pretty fantastic. Super cool. <laughs> the struggle is real. There you go. Okay, gonna climb some stairs now that we've gone swimming. It's really cool. Lots of caves. This one here, you can swim through it and there's a hole that goes all the way through the top. So you can actually look at the sky while going through. Yeah. Pretty cool. We've got the GoPro. Wow. Rookie. <laughs> Rookie mistake. I like it. <laughs> Push-ups. Hey. Hey. Another set of push-ups. Oh, I'm not ready. Do it, do it, no. do it. With backpack. Four. A good sport. All right, good job. So we're in Lagos, and we're going to be here another two days. I don't know, maybe two days, and uh, then we're gonna hop over to Madeira. What's wrong with your hat? 
I just saw myself in the video. It's so huge. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, yeah, we're gonna make the jump to Madeira. Maybe we're in a cornfield. That's the scoop. So more boat things to come. And Kevin fixed the leak. Okay, so we had some water coming into the engine compartment. Found that there was a bit of dripping from here where the raw water impeller is. So I took off the cover plate and found that this O-ring had been compressed. So that might be part of the problem. There was a little leak. I'm getting water on the bilge and not anymore, so. Not anymore. Kaimana again. We went to the beach with them. They're, um, yeah, really glad we met them. Okay. <laughs> the mermaid is emerging. <laughs> She'd never been buried in the sand before, so we did it. We're doing a one month push up challenge. 64 push ups every day. <laughs> nice! <laughs> we just visited the cannery and um, getting some last minute things because we're provisioning today. So, next stop is the grocery store and getting all set up for departure tomorrow. Grocery store, and then liquor store, and then the beach. The beach. We are going to the beach. We are going to the beach. Going to the beach. <laughs> this is an amazing liquor store. Look how massive this liquor store is. And things are cheap. Hello. Provisions. Just back from stocking up for the Caribbean. Booze and stuff is cheap here. So uh, we got a few things. Just a few. A liter of wine in the box. Probably not the finest wine out there. Uh, but it's quite cheap. And then we have gin, bourbon, vodkas, scotch, various ports, red wine, sangria mix, two types, more boxed wine in a table, 
Again, more wines and ports. We were in ports, so home of ports. So I have some ports. Good gifts too. And then some mixes, juices. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, now I just have to find Juice. a place for it. Chef Joan made dinner tonight. Looks delicious. Kevin is setting up the hydro van this morning. So before we depart, he's got the sail on, fixing up the lines, and next will be to put the rudder on. Because last time we thought we'd try it while we were underway, but uh, that was quite challenging while moving. So we'll do it before we go. Which is what? Two hours, Kevin? Yeah, two ish hours. Yeah, two ish hours. Countdown is on. Rudders in the water. Started my shift, what, an hour ago, roughly? And uh, it's gotten pretty lumpy this afternoon. We've got a reef in the mainsail, but we're still cruising along like 7.7 .7 knots right now. So we're doing well. We just gotta uh, keep our lunch down now. No, it's not so bad. Here, I'll show you. Day, day two, it's still lumpy, still feeling a little queasy, but it's better. The waves are calm a bit. The wind angle is better. It's behind the beam now, so it's a bit more comfortable. And uh, today we turned on the engine to charge up our batteries. We haven't used our engine since leaving. And uh, I don't know how long it ran for, but we started to see some smoke coming out of the engine compartment, so we shot the engine. Kevin had a look and poked around at things. We don't know. We don't know why that happens. So, so now I'm hand steering. And we're going to hand steer as much as possible to uh, conserve battery power so that autopilot takes up a lot of power. Fun times on the ocean. We should get there early, actually, because we are moving along very quickly. Our average is probably eight knots.
it is confusing. Not confusing. It's not so bumpy. Steering with the wind vane again. Yeah, we're using the wind vane. be arriving tonight and uh, the seas have calmed down. Yay! Calm enough I can even read, which is nice. See you soon in Puerto Santo. Puerto Santo. 5 a.m. in the morning. Thank <laughs> you.